Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Florida Hockey Now Panthers post game. Coming to you from the Bally Sports Florida booth here at FLA Live Arena in Sunrise, Florida. The Panthers come out on top. They snap a two game skid. They beat the Ottawa Senators by a score of five to three. Uh, the Panthers, um, you know, they really got things going, especially early in the game. Um, Florida comes across with uh, 26 shots on goal in the first period. Uh, Florida outshoots Ottawa 26 to four. They jump on top. They get two goals in the opening period. Carter Verhage is first of two, um, and uh, that comes at 7:56 of the of the first period. Followed up four minutes later. Alexander Sasha Barkov, he gets his first of the season. Florida snaps an 0-for-12 skid on the power play here at home. They get their first home power play of the season, and it comes from Sasha Barkov, uh, a little high cheese from the, from the right side, uh, something he'd been working on yesterday in practice, uh, Friday in practice. He beat uh, Sergei Bobrovsky with the same shot, so uh, obviously he was feeling it pretty good uh, today. He said he wasn't going. For a goal, he was just trying to, to get it to the net, and he ends up scoring his first of the season. It comes in game nine. Uh, we spoke to Sasha Barkov, and, and check out FloridaHockeyNow.com tomorrow. I'm going to have a big story on Barkov and uh, his goal song. It was by the Pointer Sisters. Um, interesting choice, right? Uh, he was laughing about it. Uh, uh, you know, the, 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 a song that came out probably 20 years before he was even born, but... Uh, Sasha Barkov with a nice night tonight. Uh, he gives Florida a two nothing lead. Uh, again, Florida out shooting Ottawa twenty six to four in the first period. Sasha Barkov says that uh, the Panthers knew that Ottawa was going to come back and get things right in the second period, and they certainly did. Ottawa gets a pair of goals. Scott Pinto with his sixth of the season. He scores that 37 seconds into the second period. It comes on a power play. It comes on the fifth shot of the, of the game uh, for the Sens. Uh, that makes it a 2-1 game. Then uh, Brady Kachuk, you've heard that name before, Matthew's younger brother. He gets his sixth of the season. He scores at 323 of the second period to make it a 2-2 game. Uh, Florida almost finds itself down 3-2. The, uh, there was a the goal that came off of Carter Verhage and, uh, the, and beat Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight appeared to be pulled by the Panthers. He was coming out of net. Sergei Bobrovsky was taking some warm-up laps on the ice. Whether it was to, 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 to kill some time, to, to, look at the, to look at the replay, or Spencer Knight was really coming out, Paul Maurice wouldn't say, he said, uh, you know, that's something we'll never know. It certainly looked like Spencer Knight was coming out of that game after giving up three consecutive goals. Uh, but regardless, the Panthers uh, check on goalie interference. They challenge it. It was goalie interference. Spencer Knight stays in. He ends up making 23 saves on the night, and uh, he does give up a goal uh, midway through the third period. Florida had a 3-2 lead. On a uh, on a uh, on a what Carter Verhage Carter Verhage got a second with 37 seconds remaining in the second period to give Florida a 3-2 lead a lead that Ottawa would tie up midway through the third period but Brandon Montour nets the game winner for the Panthers uh, he gives them a 4-3 lead and Brady it no, Brady, Keith Michael Matthew good shot. Gets the empty net goal in the final moments of the game. Florida gets a 5-3 win and again snaps a two-game slide. It was uh, uh, a good game, a very hard-fought game. Florida again dominating possession, dominating uh, shots, dominating uh, scoring chances. But, you know, like Paul Maurice explained in the post game, and you can check out here on the YouTube channel, and we'll have it in a little bit, um, this is a very good young Ottawa team. We saw it last year. Even though Ottawa wasn't a playoff team, they gave the Panthers all kinds of trouble. Uh, they were physical. They've got some really talented forwards. They can get the puck into play. And when they shoot it, uh, you know, they, they, they can do some damage. Like we said, I mean, we've got uh, Pinto's got six goals this season. Brady Kachuk's got six. 
Um, you know, this is a team that can put up some goals. They had a four-game winning streak before losing at home to Minnesota. They were looking for their first five-game homestand sweep in franchise history before losing on Thursday night. So this is the second consecutive loss for the Sens. Um, they go to Tampa on Tuesday night. The Panthers, meanwhile, they've got uh, a nice big long flight coming. They're going to Tempe, Arizona to check out that new Arizona State University uh, Mullet Arena in Tempe. Uh, they play the Coyotes on Tuesday night at 10 o'clock Eastern. That game you can hear uh, on Valley Sports Florida. Watch on Valley Sports Florida. It'll be on, uh, it'll be on uh, Power 96 HD2 if you want to listen to Doug Plagans, but probably just listen to the app. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, a good night for the Panthers. They get a win. They end October. This is, uh, this is it. This is it for October. Uh, Florida Panthers, 5-3-1. So they win five of their nine games. They get points in six of the nine. Their regulation losses come at Boston, at Chicago, and at Philadelphia. So... Panthers doing all right at home, but uh, they need a little a uh, little bit of work to do on the road, and they'll get a chance to do so when they go out west. Again, a four-game road trip coming up. They won't be back here for another week. I believe Carolina's here November 9th, and that's the last home game. That's the next home game for Florida. Florida is going to play at Arizona. Then they go to California to do that, that, tri that, that trio, the L.A. Kings, Anaheim Ducks and uh, of course the San Jose Sharks. Uh, that'll do it from from FLA Live Arena. Appreciate you all checking this out. Uh, we'll be doing these post game shows live from uh, South Florida uh, during the road trip. They'll be really late, but we'll do them live because I know a lot of you like to jump in and check it out. Uh, we'll do we'll do some live post game shows in the wee hours of the morning, if you will. Uh, don't forget, check us out at floridahockeynow.com. Got a lot of great content for you, as always. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, we've got a couple stories. We've got a Sasha Barkov feature I think you'll like. Uh, we've got the Sunday wrap. We've got Colby's story from tonight. So we'll have at least three stories tomorrow, maybe more. We'll see how the day goes. Uh, and uh, just... Yeah, come check us out. Don't forget to, to subscribe here on the YouTube channel. Always helps us do some special stuff. And uh, follow me at Twitter, at George Richards. And Colby Guy is at Colby D. Guy. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you have a happy Halloween. And uh, enjoy yourselves. We'll see you uh, Wednesday morning following the Panthers game in Tempe, Arizona. I'd love to be there. Go get me some Del Taco. Get a little, uh, get a little In and Out burger. I love me some Arizona, but I'll be coming to you Wednesday morning from South Florida. But anyway, have a good weekend. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye bye.